Hello everyone, this is Samuel and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In this particular video, I will be talking about the ecological pyramids and the different types of ecological pyramids. Ecological pyramids are not actual pyramids but rather are these depictions that ecologists use to present parameters of a particular ecosystem in the form of a pyramidal graphic or diagram. In other words, we can say that ecological pyramids are the graphical representation of the status that a particular trophic level has within a particular ecosystem. The idea of ecological pyramids was first developed by Charles Elton and hence these ecological pyramids were also referred to as Eltonian pyramids. The first type of ecological pyramid is the pyramid of energy which shows how much energy is trapped in a particular trophic level per unit time per unit area of a given ecosystem. At the base of the pyramid or trophic level 1 we have the producers which traps the most amount of uh, solar energy that is coming from the sun through the process of photosynthesis. That energy will be used by the producers to make organic matter. 80% to 90% of that energy will be used by the primary producers uh, for various metabolic activities including respiration and only 10 to 20 percent of that energy will be passed on to the next trophic level. At trophic level 2 we have the primary consumers which are mostly herbivores and these herbivores will feed on the producers will depend on the producers for food and they themselves will accumulate organic matter and store whatever energy they can get from the primary producers and again the primary consumers will use 80 to 90 percent of that energy that they get from the primary producers and use it for various metabolic processes as well as respiration and again passed on only 10 to 20 percent of that energy to the next trophic level and so on and so forth it goes on like this only 10 to 20 percent of energy will be passed on to the successive trophic levels and hence the pyramid of energy is always upright for any type of ecosystem because there will be a gradual decrease in energy as we go on to higher trophic levels. The second type of ecological pyramid is the pyramid of number and this is a graphical representation of the number of individuals present per unit time per unit area in each trophic level of a given ecosystem. The pyramid of number is upright when we consider a vast area of a particular ecosystem for example in a grassland ecosystem we have at the base of the pyramid the primary producers example grasses and they will be numerous in number for a given area at the next trophic level you have the primary consumers uh, for example rabbits here and for a given area there might be a few rabbits, maybe 10 to 20 rabbits. At the next trophic level, we have the secondary consumers, which may be a fox or foxes, and there will be quite a few number of foxes, maybe two or three foxes that will uh, prey upon the rabbits that are present in that particular ecosystem. At the top of the pyramid, which is at higher trophic levels, there will be fewer numbers of the top consumers or top carnivores example here we can give 
a wolf which may prey upon foxes so the number of wolf may be lesser than that of the fox well actually a wolf is not a solitary animal and we usually find them in packs so a pack of wolf may have a number between 5 and 10 wolves okay but that doesn't mean that they are more in number than a fox for example because a pack will cover a huge area of a particular ecosystem at least a few kilometers per pack and in that same kilometer the foxes will still outnumber the pack of wolf so in this way a pyramid of number may be upright as we proceed from the base of the pyramid towards the apex of the pyramid the number of organisms decreases the pyramid of number however may also be inverted when we consider a smaller area of an ecosystem or you know when we consider a micro habitat or uh, a niche of a particular ecosystem let's say for example in the same grassland ecosystem there is a single tree or a specific tree that will be the sole producer of that uh, micro habitat at the next trophic level we have different species of birds that will depend on the fruits nuts or seeds of that tree for food each of these birds will have on their body a few ecto parasites that will feed upon the blood of these birds like ticks and mites okay and at the same time these ticks and mites will be parasitized by microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi which will be very numerous in number so we can see in this particular example of a micro habitat or a specific niche like for example a parasitic food chain we can see that the number of organism increases as we go from the base of the pyramid towards the apex of the pyramid this particular pyramid of number will be inverted why because the number increases as we go to successive trophic levels and here at the top trophic level for this particular parasitic food chain we have uh, parasites that parasitize the ectoparasites so these are referred to as the hyper parasites a parasite of a parasite the pyramid of number may also be spindle shaped when again we consider uh, the same micro habitat or niche we have that same tree at the base of the pyramid that will be the sole producer again the different species of birds will be depending upon the fruits and nuts and seeds of this tree for food at the same time these birds will be preyed upon by raptorial birds such as hawks and eagles and they form the uh, the third trophic level for this particular food chain and we can see as we go up the trophic levels the number of organism decreases again so we have one tree at the base of the pyramid and we have a variety of birds as we go to the next trophic level and then when, when, when we go to the highest trophic level we have only a few uh, or lesser number of birds of prey that will prey upon these herbivorous birds so you can see the number decreases and we have a spindle shaped pyramid of number The third type of ecological pyramid is the pyramid of biomass which is a graphical representation of the dry weight of organisms present at each trophic level in a particular ecosystem per unit time per given area the pyramid of biomass may be inverted when we consider an aquatic ecosystem 
at the base of the pyramid we have the phytoplankton which are essentially uh, microscopic and unicellular organisms so their weight doesn't count for much they are literally a cell and a cell doesn't have much biomass when you consider even a vast area of an aquatic ecosystem the the weight of the phytoplankton is still very very minuscule at the next trophic level of an aquatic ecosystem you have the zooplankton and these are the larval forms of uh, many crustacean many crustacean many annelids mollusk and, and echinoderms so when you measure the weight of the zooplankton it will be a little more than the weight of the phytoplankton but at the same time <clears throat> they are still microscopic animals and their weight is still very very negligible when you compare that to the weight of a school of fishes for example a school of fishes the weight of a school of fishes will be definitely more than the zooplankton and the phytoplankton and then you have big fishes that prey upon the small school of fishes and the big fishes will um, weigh more than the weight of these small fishes like for example here we can have you can see a shark the weight of a shark will exceed the weight of a school of fishes or the weight of an aquatic mammal such as a seal or even an orca or a dolphin will definitely outweigh the weight of the smaller fishes that they prey upon the pyramid of biomass however can and will be upright when we consider a terrestrial ecosystem at the base of the pyramid for example we have the producers and the weight of this producer per square kilometer for example will be around let's say 1000 kgs per square kilometer the weight of the primary consumers however let's say for example these rabbits there are one two three four five six rabbits here in this picture and if each rabbit weighs 15 kgs then the total weight of these rabbits will be around 90 kgs which is a significant decrease in weight as compared to the uh, weight of plants for the same given area of one square kilometer at the next trophic level we have again three foxes let's say each fox weighs 20 kgs the three foxes will weigh around 60 kg which is again much lesser than the weight of the six rabbit for that given area and at the next trophic level let's say for that given area of one square kilometer there is one wolf that will prey upon these foxes the weight of that wolf will be around 45 to 55 kgs which is still a little less than the weight of the three foxes so, so in this way the pyramid of biomass in a terrestrial ecosystem is upright the significance of ecological pyramids is that by using this graphical representation we can study the different feeding relationships that each organisms have in a particular ecosystem we can also study how energy flows in a particular ecosystem and how much organic matter is accumulated per unit time in a given ecosystem one thing about the ecological pyramids is that um, they do not take into account or show the status of the detritus feeders or decomposers even though they play a very critical role in an ecosystem they are not given any place in any trophic level another thing is that the organisms from the from one trophic level may be present in another trophic level or occupy another trophic level but are only considered in the same trophic level the food web is also not considered in the ecological pyramid but only the details of a food chain are represented so just to recap we have the ecological pyramids which are a graphical representation of the parameters 
of a particular ecosystem. There are three types of ecological pyramids. The pyramid of energy, which shows how much energy is trapped in a particular ecosystem. The, and then we have the pyramid of number, which shows the number of individuals present per unit time, per, per unit area in each trophic level of an ecosystem. And also we have the pyramid of biomass, which shows the amount of accumulated organic matter or dry weight of the organisms in each trophic level per unit time per unit area so that is all about the ecological pyramids and the different types of ecological pyramids i hope you found this video helpful and if you do please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you